Hi there. Now for this question, we were told that the total time for the journey from A to B was five minutes. And we were asked to find in terms of V, the length of time in seconds for which the train is accelerating, which turns out to be two V seconds. And in part two, the time in which it was decelerating, which was four V seconds. And in part three, the time that it traveled at a constant speed, and that is 300 minus six V seconds. So I'll run through this just in case there are any problems. I'll take it quite slowly, but you might want to fast forward. So in order to work out these parts, we're told anyway that the length of time for the whole journey was five minutes. So we're working in seconds here. So if we look at five minutes, that time would be in seconds, 300 seconds, the equivalent then of five minutes. Now, in order to find the time taken accelerating, this is the section where it's accelerating. So if I was to drop a dotted line down there, then let's say that that time in there is T1. OK, then what I know is that if I look at the gradient here, remember the gradient gives us acceleration, we've got that height divided by this distance here gives us that gradient. So in other words, V divided by T, let's just put it there, therefore V divided by T, one, I should say, is equal to that acceleration of 0.5. So just a question of rearranging this, making T1 the subject. So T1 would equal V divided by 0.5. And that gives us 2v. Now, when it comes to the time decelerating, this section here, if I drop a dotted line there, let's say that that time here is t2. And the time decelerating would be this time across here. I'll call that big T, OK? We'll go from there. To there. That's the time that we're after, big T. And I can do this, say, two ways. I could, again, just look at dividing this height by this distance here. That would give me the gradient. Remember, we're dealing with two positive values here, so you've got to be very careful at this stage. That is that V divided by T gives us the deceleration but we need to think of that as 0.25, okay? Not negative 2.5, okay? That's just the magnitude of acceleration is 0.25 there. If you looked at it as the definition of acceleration though, that is the change in velocity or change in speed in this case, we've got the final speed, which was zero, minus the initial speed, which was V here. And if we divide that by the time taken, that's big T, that would equal the acceleration. But remember, the acceleration would be negative 0.25. The deceleration would be the magnitude of that, which would be 0.25. But the actual acceleration is negative because it's slowing down. So whether you use this or this, whatever you do, when you rearrange it for big T, big T is going to equal 4V, OK? So the time decelerating will be equal to 4V seconds. Now, when it comes to the time at a constant speed, then that's this period of time across here. T2, if you like, minus T1. Now, we know that that must be all of 300, OK? So we've got 300, we'll put equals here, 300 minus this time here, which is going to be 2V, OK? So put that there, put this in brackets, 2V plus this time across here, which we've just seen is 4V. 
So you've got 300 then minus the total of 6V. And there you go. Okay.